Okay, Scorpio and Cross Watchers, we're going to go into part two of messages from the sign of Libra. Man, oh man, there's a very toxic situation going on with somebody right now or the person that you love the most, Scorpio, if they're involved with somebody else, there's control, there's manipulation, domination. Somebody here is sleeping around behind somebody's back. Somebody here could, uh, during break, I was meditating on the cards a bit, that somebody here could also be sleeping with a parental figure. Somebody's boyfriend or girlfriend could be sleeping with a parental figure. Somebody has guilt, remorse, regret over the past by not listening to somebody's intuition. Somebody can't level up. Somebody here is having a hard time getting to wish fulfillment in this Ace of Cups moment. There's a blockage. I mean, the, the major blockage right here, you guys. Somebody needs to have the courage and the strength to leave. The deception, like I had mentioned, it's like a black hole. This karmic person, place, or thing, or situation. Mostly I'm picking up a person. <sighs> Believes their own lies. Plays mind games. Controlling parental figures. That manipulate their sons or daughters with money. To keep them chained and bound so that they don't get to this twin flame soulmate 1111 connection. <sighs> this karmic mother figure, father figure, aunt, uncle, brother, sister, cousin, etc. The whole nine yards, you guys, has tried to stop, block, and prevent this person, whoever's in emperor mode, to stop them from giving full blown out commitment because that commitment is coming in through the ace of coins. Somebody here, this karmic person is sucking the living daylights, sucking the marrow out of this person that you love the most. If they are dealing with somebody very specific Picking up meddling Aries. It could be any sign. Some of them are closet alcoholics or they mask over their pain, their emotional pain by going out too much, spending money on liquor. Somebody has a drug addiction or this karmic has a drug addiction. Male or female does not matter. Message from the King of Coins, Archangel Michael, and Lady Libra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. The Four of Swords. Somebody here could be praying or meditating. Somebody here could be waiting for a parental figure to pass on before they can get to this Nine of Cups and Ace of Cups with you. Sad. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Ace of Swords. This person that somebody's dealing with is very toxic. It is the truth. They are deceptive. That is the truth. They have lied to friends and family members. That is the truth. They broke up your relationship. That is the truth. Somebody here has a drug addiction. That is the truth. Somebody is squandering their money on unnecessary things. That is the truth. 
among many other situations. They try to escape. They try to escape or try not to spend as much time with this toxic person. This karmic could have taken a short sabbatical and was cheating behind the scenes on your person, Scorpio. Or vice versa. You know your story. The heaviness, I can't, the heaviness is so deep, you guys. There's confrontation. I'm not so sure this karmic person truly loves or cares about your person. Even the family members, because you know, some of these toxic family members, they're self-serving, you guys. They're self-serving. Message from the Four of Swords. One, two, three, four. Some of you are dealing with the Leo straight up. Somebody wants the sun to shine again and have success. That's a, like a truth card coming forward too. Because Archangel Michael is in association with the sun card. And Archangel Michael is going to be on this karmic's ass. And try to wake up your person. The sun card could be about a spiritual awakening. To get the hell away from this, this sludge energy. I was also picking up roommates situation. There could be conf confrontation with roommates. Or deception with roommates. Because I was picking up landlord. Somebody could own property. Just meditating, sorry. Message from the Seven of Swords, Archangel Michael and Lady Libra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What are they sneaky about? Yeah, some of them are sleeping with parental figures or sleeping with this karmic energy. Could be sleeping with a father figure or a mother figure. It's like a freaking Lifetime movie, you guys. Soap opera. It's like days of our lives. Somebody here could be married to this karmic. Or this is karmic family members. This is the twin flame soulmate 1111 connection. This devil karmic person has done everything in their damn power to stop the twin flame union. <laughs> oh boy, they are going to get, this karmic energy is going to get some major repercussions. They've got it coming with Archangel Michael. They've got it coming. I ask Archangel Michael to destroy the energy Destroy the energy of this karmic person that is controlling, manipulating, who stopped, blocked, and prevented this twin flame union from happening, from continuing. Take these karmic mother figures, father figures, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, the excessive bromances, excessive girlfriends, karmic wife, karmic husband, Archangel Michael, all of these people that have either stopped the divine masculine or divine feminine from coming forward, destroy their energy. Destroy them and take them to where they need to go.
what's going on, Archangel Michael, between the devil and the seven of swords, that's 15 and seven, is the number 22. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Show them no mercy, Archangel Michael. There's no way. There's just no way that this this toxic energy is gonna change, Archangel Michael. There's just no way. That that this karmic has lied so much, Archangel Michael, and has destroyed a beautiful union. Mother figure for some of you guys. The Empress could be baby mama drama or this karmic is pregnant with, oh my God, Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck. Some of these karmics could be blonde-haired. There's a pregnancy going on behind the scenes. That's what I'm picking up. Some of them got pregnant with picking up family members or cousins, parental figure, or somebody else maybe from their past. But for some of you guys... The mother figures, they are the devil. They are the devil, and somebody needs to get away. Get away from this mother figure because she is a lying, deceptive, sneaky ass, B-I-T-C-H. For these mother figures, they, you guys, I don't care what any title anybody holds. Here's the reason why. It's about energy and the energy that gets exuded off of a person. Whatever title you hold in this world, it's just an earthly term. This mother is a traitor, a lying, deceptive, manipulating person. And this karmic could be karmic girlfriend, karmic boyfriend. For the karmic girlfriends, they have been lying behind your person's back. They are, oh my God, oh my God, Archangel Michael. Oh, oh my God. I can't tell if I want to cry. Or if I just want warrior energy to come forward. I mean, it's that, that energy, it's like it's, it's, as a reader, it's pulling me in one direction and it's pulling me in another because I want to see this energy destroyed. Never to return. Never, ever, ever to return. Somebody has conceived a child. This karmic. And like I said, Queen of Wands, bottom of the deck. Meddling energy, third party situations, mistresses. Karmic family members. More specifically, these mother figures are self-serving. They don't care. They don't give an S-H-I-T about your twin flame soulmate relationship. They are evil. They're so evil. They've lied to everybody.
One, two, three. Enter the dragon. Cancerian energy or Leo energy coming in through the month of July. Somebody needs to race and charge ahead and get the hell away more specifically from a mother figure and never speak to this woman ever again. Ever. Ever. And for the karmic girlfriends, karmic boyfriends, never to be around this person ever again. Message from the Chariot, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Knight of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Somebody's coming back. Once they get the hell away from this meddling energy. Meddling person, fake person, devil person, evil person. I keep hearing the word hallucination. This, 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 this karmic is cuckoo. It needs to be locked up permanently. Message from the Knight of Cups, Archangel Michael. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Lover's activity, sign of Gemini or Cancerian energy throughout the month of June. Love is the heart of the matter. This person, Scorpio, or if this is you, unto your cross watcher. There's so much love that has been buried beyond measure because of this toxic person. Somebody here has been so besides themselves. Because my eyes keep fixating on this five of cups. Message from the lovers, Archangel Michael and Lady Libra. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank God somebody here is definitely going to walk away. Somebody here could be walking away from this karmic person, maybe within the next eight days. Could take them up to eight more months on the long term. But this is cup energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Our next cup season is the sign of Scorpio. Forward movement through the chariot. I mean, when we see the chariot, that is massive victory. It's fast. Message from the Eight of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Somebody's going to be cutting out the BS and get the mental clarity that they seek. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy coming in to support that energy. Somebody here is going to give this karmic some sharp words and cut them out
because somebody, yes, is going to get left out in the cold. Message from the King of Swords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Gemini energy coming in through the magician. Somebody definitely wants a new beginning. Somebody here is manifesting. For the best possible outcome. That's what I'm and that's what I'm hearing. Somebody is okay. Because when I think of the magician, sometimes, you know, I see like that magician on the stage, you know, pulling the rabbit out of the hat. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's going to be in the magician mode is going to pull a freaking rabbit out of their hat. And what I'm hearing, because we saw the fool card on the bottom of the deck, is going to fool the karmic. And knock them, basically knock them for a loop. Switching the game up. That's what I'm hearing. Somebody here is going to switch the game up. And yes, I don't need to see the magician to know that somebody here is dealing with somebody, a family member or a karmic partner that is already controlling and manipulating Message from the magician. One. Okay. Teamwork and collaboration. They're going to be coming forward. Sometimes, too, with the three of coins can mean also, too, about contracts. Partnership contracts. Somebody's going to be leaving this relationship dynamic doesn't matter if they're a parental figure, doesn't matter if it, it, other family members, karmic this, karmic that. When they come in, they're going to bring in this three of coins. Tell me more about the three of coins. One, two, three. Yeah, they're going to be traveling at a great distance for some of you to wherever you're at. They will put an ending. The world is about an ending. The world card also means about family lineage. These toxic family members, toxic mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, there's going to be an ending. And some of them are at a distance from you because these karmics, for some of you, put you guys at a physical distance by mileage. Message from the world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 18, 19, 20, 21. Somebody here is going to take a passionate leap of faith. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy. You could be in love with the an Aries, Leo, or Sag that's going to leave this meddling energy behind. Because right here is true love. True love, reconciliation, wish fulfillment. Message from the King of Spears. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. We're going to reach out energetically, passionately. Pages, page of wands could be a text message, a phone call, or they may show up at your door. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. More communication. They want to bring a token, a gift, a love offer, a gesture to break the ice. That's what I'm hearing, to break the ice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Man, more communication. They're going to be racing and charging in fast, not letting anything get in their way. Once they, it's like the Holy Spirit coming down upon this person to wake them up. They're they're gonna once they find out the truth, they're they're gonna. They're going to run so far away 
from this karmic. There's no turning back. That's what I'm hearing. There is no turning back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They've had enough time to think things over. Some of you guys, this is about intuition coming in. Three-eyed raven. You could be dealing straight up with the Virgo. This is help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So maybe somebody here is returning back to Princess Leia. Yes, they are. Prin Page of Cups and a rightfully owed apology. Uh, so much communication wants to come from this person unto you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Who? They have so much to express. I mean, it's going to be pouring over like this Ace of Cups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You guys are going to be like deer in headlights, I swear. Yes, blast from the past energy, Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, somebody that you could have known from grade school, high school, middle school, sweethearts, long-term business associations, mutual acquaintances, somebody that you feel you've had past life connections with. Somebody here wants to take you out. They want to sit down with you. They want to talk with you. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of communication. They want to just, they're just hoping that you will listen to them. That, that, that you won't shut them down. They might want to take you out for, you know, maybe a couple drinks and some appetizers. You know, just to, to just very lighthearted, nothing over the top. Just to say, hey, how are you? I know it's been a long time. I You know, they may say flat out when they come to you and say, I'm not dealing with that person anymore. I'm not dealing with my mother anymore. I'm not dealing with my father anymore. I'm not dealing with this person and that person and this person and that person. They want to sit down and talk with you. And on the bottom of the deck, that over the rainbow moment, ten of cups. In the darkness, the light will be left on. Archangel Michael will, will light the way for this relationship to come forward. Message from the six of cups. One, two, three, four, five, six. They, th their feelings have been so locked up. Nine of Swords, they've been all up in their head. They miss you. 